Hey everybody, it's Dr. Osgood here with Grassroots Functional Medicine. I have the pleasure to be here today with Tyler Tiggis. He has been a patient of mine for a couple of years now, and he's got a pretty amazing story about reversing uh, Graves' disease. So uh, as many of you know, autoimmunity is just running rampant. More and more people are being diagnosed on a daily basis. The statistics are up to one in five individuals currently are suffering from an autoimmune condition, and Graves is just one of the many. So uh, I'm excited to share Tyler's story, and so to help you learn a little bit about more about some options you may uh, be able to take if you're suffering from autoimmunity that are outside of the, the typical conventional route. So. Tyler, appreciate you being here. Yeah. And uh, can you tell me a little bit about where you were at before you came in to see me? Sure, sure. So about two years ago, um, I weighed about 45 pounds less than I do now and was struggling with weakness, was having uh, chest pain, um, like couldn't even hold my infant son for longer than a few minutes and I would just get tired of holding him. Um, was eating tons of food but couldn't put on any weight and um, at the time I thought that I had a parasite we had traveled abroad recently and got sick and so um, that's through a friend referral that's how we met was yeah. because I thought I had gut issues and um, thought I had a parasite and we wanted to address that um, based on a rem recommendation from a friend. And Tyler looked like a totally different person. It's so interesting <laughs> to see the before and after pictures, um, you know, with with his transformation. So tell me, was it, did you, were you going through a lot of stress? Didn't you have a big stressor involved yeah, before um, getting sick? At that point, also stress uh, work was just really stressful. We had gone through a major transition in my, in my workplace, um, and we had been adjusting to a new life with with a newborn son and um, had done some overseas travel, like I mentioned, and um, yeah, so there's, a there's, just a lot, there's just a lot going on um, that looking back, I can see definitely played a, played a yeah. role in this. And one of the cool things I remember about Tyler is, uh, you know, coming into the clinic, he was a little bit skeptical. <laughs> you know, everybody is at a different stage when they come in, and uh, he was definitely on the edge of not knowing, you know, is this realistic? Is this quackery? Is this guy going to help me? So it was just interesting to see, you know, his attitude develop as we continued to figure out what was going on. Absolutely. Yeah. I, <laughs> I remember when we met with Seth, um, which I hope we can talk a little bit more about what yeah. that process was like, but um, I, we had already spent a couple thousand dollars yeah. without actually knowing what was going on just on some some supplements and some other things, some cleanses that we had tried um, without seeing a lot of results. Mm -hmm. And so then when we met, um, I, I, again, I was convinced it was a parasite because I just, <laughs> I was 29 years old and I was healthy other than yeah. these handful of symptoms, which I was minimizing at the time. Yeah. Um, so um, to do the, to, to do the testing and everything that you recommend, um, to, to get to the root cause, to find out what's going on. To me, I was just really questioning whether or not we needed to do all that testing because in my mind, I thought I knew what it was. Yeah. Uh, but come to find out it was not a parasite. Um, after doing the testing, yeah. we found out that uh, just a few days later, I, I got a phone call from, from Dr. Seth and uh, he had asked me if I was on a thyroid, and if I, if I was on any <laughs> thyroid... Yeah. Uh, hormones and at that point I didn't even know where my thyroid was in my body <laughs> and had no idea what the thyroid did anything didn't know yeah. anything about the hormones and um, so at that point Seth recommended that I get it get confirmation from an endocrinologist yeah. that um, Graves disease is what what was going on so one of the basic panels that we do when you come in, and the reason we do this basic panel is because sometimes the symptoms that you present with, um, you know, 
are from various things. And by doing a comprehensive look, you can pick up on things like autoimmune thyroid when you thought it was a parasite, you know, and, and there's a whole list of situations that I've run across that are very similar. But doing that comprehensive analysis is really important. And with Tyler, what we found is that his, his thyroid levels were through the roof and his autoimmune antibodies were high, you know, suggesting graves. It was like he was running a marathon 24 seven, which is why, you know, his weight was so low and his muscle mass was low. Um, so, and that's something that can be really, really be dangerous. So, uh, you know, you, at that point you went to the endocrinologist yeah. and tell us a little bit about that experience. Yeah, I went to the endocrinologist. Um, she examined me for, for about five minutes and just confirmed right away that it was Graves' disease and then proceeded to tell me that I needed to be on a couple different medications, an antithyroid medication and a beta blocker medication uh, to try to protect my heart. Um, and she told me long-term the only options were radioactive iodine to burn and eventually destroy my thyroid yeah. or to surgically remove my thyroid. Obviously, in which either of those cases, I would be on a thyroid hormone replacement for the rest of my life. So how did you feel after that appointment? What were you thinking? I was not very happy. Uh, honestly, I, uh. I, I asked the endocrinologist for any other... Uh, less invasive uh, forms of treatment, and she just flat out told me there there weren't any. That yeah. those were the only two options, and that I needed the medication, um, which I was resistant to. Yeah, I, I was I, like I said, I was 29 years old, yeah. and just did not want to be on any medications, especially for the rest of my life. Absolutely. So at that point, you know, we had a follow up with Tyler and uh, we just talked about all of the options. And he's a great example how, you know, sometimes you do need some of those acute interventions with pharmaceuticals, uh, but you always want to be thinking about why that process is there to begin with and what's the root of the problem. So one of the things I remember vividly about Tyler is just how resistant he was to taking medications. He had no interest in any pharmaceutical. So, you know, what we had to do is I had to remind him that, you know, his body is running that marathon and his heart is beating really fast and there's certain risks involved with that and that's where the pharmaceuticals play a, uh, an important role is putting out that fire. But more importantly, what we had to do is think about how are we gonna promote healing long term? Mm -hmm. So do you wanna just walk us through, uh, you know, some of the things that we did to help your body recover and help it heal? Sure, yeah. Um, so that, that was one thing that I really appreciated was just um, as opposed to the endocrinologist where I got only medication, no lifestyle changes, no nutrition yeah. aspects. Um, it was just medication and surgery. Um, with, with grassroots, um, I have appreciated the partnership between you know the the pharmaceuticals to try to get everything under control, but on a short term basis yeah. and really focusing long term on on implementing lifestyle changes, stress management, nutrition. Um, proper exercise, those types of things to, to work with the body to, to provide that, uh, to allow that healing to take place. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so it wasn't fun cutting out, <laughs> cutting out some of, some of my favorite foods. Um, but I just had to keep reminding myself and being reminded by friends and family yeah. and, and you, um, that, uh, that it was worth it. And that, um, in order to achieve my goal, you know, I had to I had to be disciplined and had to stick to some of those changes. And I think, you know, one of the important pieces to recognize about Tyler is, you know, he had strong faith during this process. He was optimistic and he knew in, inside, deep down, that he was going to recover from this. And that is so important to the healing journey because it's not fast. It's not quick, especially when, we're, when you're dealing with a complex condition like Graves' disease. It takes time and it takes dedication and there's going to be ups and downs along the way. But, you know, in the end... Uh, it, it's worth it, and or at least I, I think yeah, it's worth it. So absolutely. tell me a little bit about you know where you're at today, you know what what that last set of labs showed, and uh, you know in, in the process in general. Looking back, how do you feel about it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so first thing was the, the thing that gave me so much confidence in the process was just knowing that you have helped other people do yeah. the exact same thing that that we were trying to um, that we were trying to work on for me and my health. Um, so from from after a little bit of uh, research and getting used to the idea of, of uh, 
having an autoimmune condition, yeah. just knowing that um, you had helped other people achieve the same results that I was looking for um, yeah. gave me tons of belief. Um, yeah, so where I'm at now, um, so it's been about a two-year journey, just under yeah. two years, um, and I, I can, I can function again. I have, I have energy. I have my strength back. Um, mm -hmm. I don't get hungry every hour and a half, two hours. Um, I can play with our son and and have lots of energy and strength to do that. Um, my thyroid numbers are completely normal. Beautiful. They're excellent. Um, without any medication now. Yep. Uh, so completely off all medications and yeah, I'm just so thankful yeah. to, to have had your help and the help of others and uh, support of others in this process to, to be where I'm at now. Awesome. Well, you know, and that's the thing is the medication was used as a, you know, an acute a method to get, get his numbers down and to get him out of that danger zone, but his lifestyle interventions and his stress management and his gut health and his dietary changes, all of those factors are what help boost his immune system up to the point where we can get him off of the medications and keep him off the medications and uh, get him to a point where he's you know thriving. So he worked his tail off. I was just there to help him along the way, but uh, this is just a great story of what can be accomplished uh, with a functional approach and by taking a holistic approach to helping the body to heal. You know, I'm a firm believer our creator knew exactly what he was doing and if we just give the body the fuel that it needs and remove some of those factors that we unfortunately add in that cause problems, it's, it's just amazing, uh, you know, with, at the results you can see. So there's a lot of people out there suffering with autoimmune conditions and similar situations as Tyler. So Tyler, tell me a little bit about uh, you know what you would tell these people. What's some advice you would give them to help them on their journey? Yeah, I get. I mean, I get asked. The more I share my story, the more I find out people that have Graves' disease yeah. or, or Hashimoto's or other autoimmune conditions. And what I really want people to know is just that there are options. That they don't have to do only medication or surgery, there are other options. Um, and really like our bodies are created to be healthy and to heal. And so it really does come down to like, what is, what is the cause? What's the root cause? Absolutely. And you want to correct that in, in order to give your body the chance and the opportunity to heal and be well. Absolutely. And it's different for everybody. That's the thing is it's not a cookie cutter approach. And we try to put people into specific specialties or put people into specific protocols. But the reality is, is that everybody, everybody's body becomes dysfunctional for different reasons. You have to dive in deep and figure out what those individual reasons are to promote true wellness and true healing. So uh, again, I really appreciate you guys listening in. I appreciate Tyler being here and sharing Absolutely. his amazing story. And uh, if you guys need any help on your journey to healing, feel free to reach out. Grassroots Functional Medicine. We have clinic in Austin, Texas and in um, West Lebanon, New Hampshire. I hope you guys have a blessed day.